Hi, this is Tim the Watch Box. At Dubai Watch Week 2021, I will be reviewing extensively the current set of GPHG laureates, starting with the Men's Complication Prize winner, a 33-piece limited series in titanium. This is the MBNF LMX. X standing for 10 years since the first legacy machine. Every legacy machine, as with all MBNF products, a collaborative effort. The watch here, 44 millimeters in grade five, and you can see the vast majority of the thickness isn't the sliver-like grade five titanium case, it's the enormous domed sapphire. Now, as you can see, Max Booser wanted the balance to be visible. He says he has a balance fetish. So it's enormous and it's elevated, and you can see that it sits on an unconventional arcing dual anchored bridge. It is free sprung. It's over 14 millimeters in diameter, and you can see it features an overcoil shaped by hand. It beats away at a very gentle 18,000 vibrations per hour. We'll get a closer look at it here. You can see that hand-shaped spiral, as well as the black polish of the bridge on which it's mounted. Now we have two separate dials. They are independently settable. You'll note there is an escapement just below. That is entirely hand finished and take a look between the two dials and you can see the battle axe, the actual bridge for the escape wheel is the MBNF battle axe motif. That is their unofficial logo. Each of the dials is lacquered with fired blue hands and you can see there's a lovely turquoise or sea mist green dressage or spiral graining to the base plate. We'll turn around to the power reserve because this is an unusual combination. You have two different ways of regarding the power reserve. It is a power reserve valid for seven days, and Max reasoned that with a seven-day power reserve, you can have two separate displays, in time or in days. So if you set it correctly, you can synchronize the power reserve to indicate the passage of days as the energy of the mainspring is extended and expended. Taking a quick look at the opposite side, you can see that this can just as easily be done numerically with the days spelled out in Arabic numerals. So you can go by the names of the days or you can go by the numbers of the days of the week. And you can see the exceptional mechanism underpinning that double faceted power reserve is a piece of theater in and of itself. Now, because the legacy machines were designed to evoke what a wristwatch might have looked like had a wristwatch by MBNF been built in, say, 1890, which is why we have a very traditional fine finish as well as jewels set in golden chiton. You can see on the power reserve, you can see the actual uh, balance staff itself, as well as the flanking drives for the displays. They do have those golden chiton holding the pivot jewels. I'm going to pop the clasp open here, and you can see it is a deployant clasp. And the men's complication winner has three mainspring barrels. You can also see it is extravagantly hand finished on the reverse side and quite attractively there's a nickel anthracite coating on a Soleil or Sunburst style Cote de Genève. All of the wheels feature a satination and you'll note that all of the screw heads are black polished as with other legacy machines. And I'll get as close as I can without corrupting or breaking this clasp. Uh, they basically draw on the language of pocket watches on their reverse side. So you can see everything from the wheel trains to the springs to the use of more golden pivot chiton speak to the pocket watch era. And of course, the legacy machine inspired by Kerry Voodlin and way back in the year of 2011, 10 years ago, this watch, very much in the tradition of Mr. Voodlin, but also of Max and MBNF, celebrating 10 years of one of the company's most successful model lines, and that is the men's complication winner at the 2021 GPHG.